Hello, welcome back to my class English Morpho Syntax. Through this course, I provide an introduction to fundamentals of English lexical morphology and syntax. Then, I hope all of you could be understand the meaning of morpho syntax itself. Furthermore, the completion of this meeting, all of the students are expected to understand the basic morphological and synthetic concepts. Morphosyntax come towards morphemes and syntax, both of them branch of linguistic studies. So, during this semester, we are going to study about morphemes after the syntax. Morpheme is the smallest meaningful unit in the grammar of language. Remember, morpheme was different with word. We will show the reference toward these examples below. The example unbelievable we read as unbelievable. Box S we read boxes. This like we read dislike. From the example above, unbelievable has three morphemes. Boxes has two morphemes and dislike has two morphemes. Then, which one the word? The words are unbelievable, boxes, and also dislike. From the example above, you could identify the differences both of morphemes and words. Morpheme was the smallest unit of language. From one word could be identified more than one morpheme. Unit bold, each morpheme has their meaning. Then, word is something to be listed in the dictionary and it has their meaning. I mean surface meaning. The power of grammar that represents a speaker's knowledge that structures and their formation called as syntax. In other words, syntax is study of the sentence pattern of language. Could you imagine guys? Yeah, syntax, a little bit a boring activity. When we're learning about syntax, we should master about part of speech, like noun phrase, verb phrase, adjective phrase, noun, verb, article, determiner, and etc. Besides that, we should recreate our syntax toward three diagram when we construct the sentence itself. Talking about morpheme and syntax, I have a simple question for all of you. According to you, syllable and morpheme are the same? Explain it and give the clear example. Then, to study syntax more easy, we could know about part of speech. So, did you remember about part of speech? Please give me the complete part of speech with their examples. Thanks for today. Don't forget to answer my question through Google Classroom. Then see you next week.